My name is Penil, and my friends call me PK. I was born and raised in Denmark in a small town of 5,000 people. And for those who don't know what Denmark is, it's right next to Sweden and Scandinavia. I have always been very adventurous, and I dedicated myself to soccer and music at a very early age. During the winter, I would go skiing in my neighbor countries or around Europe. And during the summer, I would go water skiing in a local inlet. I was never brave enough to leave my comfort zone and experience what lies outside the borders of Denmark and I found myself hiding behind everyone else, synchronizing their every move instead of creating my own path to a success. After graduating high school, I started working at three different jobs. I shipped packages during the day and I bartended at night and I worked as a waitress during the weekends. As soon as I had enough money, I booked my flight to New Zealand, where I spent three weeks of challenging myself and my courage by hiking glaciers, river rafting, and bungee jumping up a 440 feet high platform between cliffs. Right after my experience of the beautiful settings in the nature of New Zealand, I flew straight to Australia, where I went surfing the Gold Coast. I went snorkeling in the Great Barrier Reef. And I skydived Mission Beach from a small plane at an altitude of 14,000 feet. Taking my adventure to the next level, I arrived in Thailand where I rented a bungalow on the beach of Koh Tao and I got certified as an open water diver. I spent a week of scuba diving among the world's most colorful sea creatures. Coming back to Denmark after traveling wasn't easy and I kept looking for new adventures. I always imagined myself in the greatest city of the world, New York, so I quickly found my way to the States where I moved in with a great host family with two adorable girls who quickly became the sisters I never had. After six months of preparation and paperwork, I finally got my student visa approved. And I found a school that combines the things I love. Playing soccer, music, and art. This place is SUNY Purchase. I'm now a part of the SUNY Purchase Art and Design program while playing on the D3 soccer team. I might be in the greatest city of the world, but I'm still looking for new places and cultures to visit. My next journey will be to either South America or another third world country, where I can both study and volunteer as a soccer coach for kids. Studying abroad is helping me achieve my American dream, and I believe everyone should have the courage and confidence to pursue theirs, no matter the place, nationality or country. My advice is to exit the comfort zone and walk through the door of opportunities, because the grass turned out to be greener on the other side for me, and I hate to see people missing out on experiences like the ones I had. People tend to focus on where they're headed in life, instead of seizing the day and living in the moment. It's never about a destination, but the journey itself. I think um, I think the process is something that makes a lot of people stop like trying to get here because it's it's really tough. It's a lot of paperwork and I had to I think I started preparing for this in like it must have been in January or February this year which and it took me like 6 months until I had my visa approved and until I, I could leave my country and go here. So first of all, I had to apply online 
for the graphic design program at the school and you have to pay a lot of fees like the application fee and you had to pay for uploading a portfolio to their website even though you're not sure that you're gonna get it accepted and I think maybe a lot of people like if they're not 100% sure to get accepted they're not gonna pay like $50 um, but that wasn't like the most expensive part like you had to get I had to get my transcript evaluated for my high school which was like $200 and you have to get your visa interview and I had to go to Copenhagen to do that so travel expenses and everything but I mean if it's something you really want you know it's possible and that's why I'm here now so look at this baby look at that hey I knew I always wanted more and I think after the first time I came to the States, I realized that I could actually do it. And I knew that I wanted more. So I found out that they have a great art and design program at the school I'm currently studying in. And the fact that you can combine playing soccer at an advanced level and still get a degree, a good degree and um, that's probably the main reason why I came here. I've always been really creative but I think after the first time I came to the States and um, I realized that I actually had a, a talent for drawing and being creative was actually something that I love to do so I mean that's the whole point of of getting a career, right? You want to do something that you love to do. So that's why I, I found graphic design. And um, it was really hard for me to tell my friends and family that I was gonna apply for a four year program in the States because they knew that, you know, I was going here and it wasn't just for six months and it wasn't just for a year, it was actually gonna be four years and I think my parents they were they were scared that that I'm gonna stay here and they kept saying like now don't you get married over there or don't you find if you find someone then make sure you bring him back home because <laughs> you know you're from Denmark remember that and that's what my friends keep saying too so they were, it was really hard because I miss my family and I miss my, my best friends, but they're still around, you know, I still talk to them often, like every week, and I feel like, you know, the people who care about you, they'll, they'll always be there, even though you're not in the same place, so... I had, I think in the beginning I didn't really realize that I was going to go here for four years, so the thought didn't really scare me, but after I started realizing it, I, I had my doubts, like one day I would be like, Oh my god, what am I doing? I can't believe I'm applying for this. What if I go there and I regret it and I have to go back home and I waste a lot of money and and then the next day I would be like, this is my dream. This is what I want to do. So of course I'm going and nothing's gonna stop me. When I first got here, it was, it was scary because everything is so big and everything is so like unfamiliar 
and you have to you have to adapt to the culture and you have to to find your way around and and I think that's what scares a lot of people because as I said you you can't like a lot of people don't want to exit their comfort zones they feel they feel safe and they want to stay like that the first time I came here I was really surprised that Americans are so open-minded and helpful and it feels like they want to they really want to help people Hi, you know what the next train to Stanford is? 634 on track 20 Thank you In Denmark it's it's like people only hang out with the ones they know and they don't really want to expand that group they always hang out with you know, certain groups and stuff so I think that's that's why a lot of people are scared to to leave that and it took a lot of courage for me to do that but now that I'm here I realize that you know it's this is how you're supposed to be like you're supposed to be open-minded and you're supposed to be welcoming like different cultures and different people no matter you know what nationality they have or their background I like the mindset that people have here that if you really want something you just work hard and you can achieve it whereas in my country a lot of people think that no it's impossible like that's the mindset they have they look at something and they go oh my god no that's that's just impossible you can't do that why are you even trying and i think i wanted to prove that it is possible my host family is really great i mean i'm really happy that they that they offered me to live with them while i study here because it's otherwise i wouldn't have been able to afford it and they're helping me achieve my dream, so I'm really thankful for that. When I applied for the program here at Summer Purchase, I didn't realize how intensive it was going to be. And, and I thought, like, I heard that as a full-time student you have to take 12 credits at least. So that's what I was planning to do, but when I got accepted and into this program, I found out that the, the schedule is pretty much laid out for you so the first semester I was taking 18 credits it is really hard and it's a challenge but I'm working hard to get there so I think my advice to other people would be definitely you know definitely try to achieve your dreams even though it seems impossible and if you experience um, hard times and you experience um, a challenge wherever you go just keep focusing on that dream and keep thinking that if you just work hard enough you'll get there you should definitely go abroad you should definitely travel and you should definitely experience while you have the opportunity to do it